Hi guys, Steve here. On this video, I'm playing Manor Lords, which is a medieval city building game. It's really good, it looks very nice, and you might want to get it. All right, let's go new game. There's a banner, here's your lords. I shall go for him, or him. Let's go for him. Pick your color. Let's go orange and your crest over oh, different ones. Let's have a cross. You can also change your flag, your shield, and save it if you want to, so you can just load it. And you can change your pattern as well and change the different colors. I'm just going to go for a basic one. Let's have him Lord Nublets. Right, we're going to play default, restoring the peace. We've got different ones as well. I'm sure, we're going to add more later. Begin. Right, that's our starting village. Read message. Build town, your manor. I'll unite these lands under my rule. Right, let's go back. That's where we're on the map. Pretty good place right in the middle. There, there are other lords. And you can game these areas with influence and then move into them. Right, that's where our starting camp is. We've got animals, berries, iron, stone and clay. That's all supplies. There's some good trees over here. So we're going to build a forestry camp over there. We need food and fuel, which will be wood. That's indicated by supplies. And we've got four months worth at the moment. Right, so let's look at a camp. This is temporary uh, shelter. Tents, they go when you build houses. We've got a hitching post which has an ox which has got enough strength to drag uh, big wood posts to build stuff and temporary supplies. We have five families that are unassigned at the moment, so they will just do construction. And then we'll have assigned families. It wants us to move next part. We can alter the game speed in the bottom right. Got that. So first thing I'm gonna do is build a logging camp because you need lots of wood. Otherwise, if you build other stuff like houses and not got enough wood left, then you won't be able to build logging. So I'm gonna put a logging camp between a good group of trees. Uh, on the right hand side, when you open the build menu, like so, you can see underground water, fields that grow different crops. They're pretty good. I'm pleased about that. Smell fire hazard. Right. I've built my logging camp. Families will work on construction automatically. And I've got five unassigned. I'm going to build a path. You can travel faster over roads. Right. And it will take oxen to required to pull timber. Just jumping ahead of me. <laughs> right. I can move my hitching post and the rest of it will be moved. So now I'd select where you want your main village to be. And I think I'm going to go right across to here. Then click on the mallet. There's my road right across. I'm going to connect this one to there. Let's have it straight. Speed up time. And the villagers will move down and start building. 
we go. The ox is pulling the timber. It needs two timber to start building. Let's get on with the rest. In the top middle, it's got exposed goods. So the rain will damage those. We want to cover those up. And we need five houses. You got your roads in the bottom middle. Then your construction, all the different construction there. Armies, which we'll go into later. The map. I need to go out and claim different areas and then fight these barons. Help and settings. Let's read message. The baron wants to talk to me. I don't want to talk to him at the moment. But the way it works is you select what you want to say and drag it in and then send. Let's go back to my camp. Alright. Let's start building. So we're going to work on the logging first. It's half done. You want to get loads of trees in. Because if you waste all your wood. Go up there. Let me just close that. There you go. If you waste all your timber, then you can't build a logging camp and that will kill the game because you can't progress without wood. Right. Let's look at everything we've got. Foraging hut. We've got berries over here. So I'm going to click that. Hold the mouse button, turn and place it there. That needs one lumber. Let's join that up to the road. Like so. So after login's done. It'll build the foraging hut. Right, the lumber yard's finished. So I'm going to click got that. And I need to assign people to it. And it assigns one family. So there are families. You always need to leave somebody in construction. Unassigned. Otherwise you can't build anything. Right. We're going to start cutting down these trees. We'll get loads of wood in. And we're going to then build the foraging hut. And we'll start getting berries. I'm going to put another hitching post down. Let's put it over the over here. That'll do. Now give me another ox when I add it. And then I can carry two lots of timber and I'll start building quickly. Right, storehouse. My stuff will get ruined if it's out in the weather. So we're going to have food from this direction. So let's build a storehouse there. In fact, it's best to put a granary over here. Because then we can put all the meat there. Uh, storehouse holds all this building material. So I'm going to put a storehouse here. Pass me the hammer, will you? We've built the foraging hut. I'm going to assign a family to it. We've got three left. He'll be getting his berries. We've just got 15 bread which started with. I'll zoom in. Show you how beautiful it looks. And if you click your lord. You can walk around. And inspect the commoners. Alright, he's chucking it down. That's going to spoil the goods. So we need to get the storehouse done. And we're going to need a granary as well to keep food. Let's keep the food there. Speed things up. Villages will be getting soaked. 
Yeah. <laughs> I've not got many villagers at the moment, so I need to be careful with what I put them in. Let's put that at high priority. Get finished build quick. Right, I'm going to put a family on that so they can move the stores in here. And I'm going to select this for high priority because I want to save all the food. I'll zoom in and she can see what we're doing. Let's build a road down here. Right, go to construction. Let's see where's good fields to start planning our village. We've got a really good plot of land here. Right, we've just got to move uh, food when the granary is built. Starting filling up the supplies. Graphics are really good. Speed up a bit more. Get it finished. I'll build a hunting lodge next. Get some meat. Two families in construction. There we go. Just gotta finish up. Let's slip back down again. Right, I'll put a family in there to get him to move all the food over. And let's get the hitching post and we can relocate it there for now. Right. We've got exposed goods which they're going to go with their cart and bring back to the granary. Keep that safe so we're going to have to build houses. Residential. Right, so where's the best place to build? Forest there. Let's go... Down to here. He's been getting wood, so I should have enough. Straight up. This is going to be the area where you're... House is going to be in with, within, and you can remove some or add some. And then you can rotate them if you just want two huge ones. If you want the houses this side, let's have the houses that side and click the mallet to complete. That's going to be my main housing. I built some extra. Once that housing's done, these uh, tents are going to be removed. Let's speed things up. Do a well as well. That's where the water is. Mm, it'd be better if it's flowing through our town, but for now. Let's put it there. It's a bit of distance to go. I can always move it and put another one. I might start building houses across here. For now let's get the buildings done. Let's bring in the logs. It is rainy. We've got one family in construction. Right, he's moved all the supplies off from here. Apart from that. It's sunny at last. They're getting enough wood together to build all the houses. 
Right, now all the food's in. I'm going to take a family out of there. And you'll get that supply automatically when he needs it. But he's taking loads of wood. He's backed up first. Like he's got storage there. When that's gone, he'll take that. Then start supplying all the wood in there. Alright, we have our first house. The family's moved into it. Once he's built, it's going to start looking like a proper village. We've done two of them. We've just got now we've done three of them. Two more left. Built extra houses just for get more people in. I'll zoom in because it looks really good. I was not finishing that. There we go. We've increased our level. Got development point. Right, you noticed those temporary tents have gone. Because everyone's moved into a house. That approval rate adds to be over 50%. That's 45 at the moment. Let's read the message. Let's form a militia. Right, we've gathered some shields. Where's the armor it is? 20 large shields and 20 spears. Click on the army. So he's got shields and spears. And you can use your townsfolk to create an army or you can hire a militia. And tell them to go to rally points. But we'll do that a bit later. We've got more building to do. Why is he not building that one? Let's speed that up. He needs to finish off these. And he gave us one point because we leveled up. And here we can spec in to make our village better. Like orchards. Or plant crops. Get more supplies in. Or lower taxes, etc. Armour workshops. Let's get this finished. Saves automatically. How much wood he's got. He's doing okay. He's built up a supply. So we've virtually moved out of this area now. I've just got to finish getting rid of that. And we can keep the hitching post there uh, because it's fine out of the way. Right, I think a good thing next is to build a hut so we can get meat. Right, let's put it... Let's arrange where the animals are. Put a the hut there. They're getting his berries. It's finished over houses. Looks really good, doesn't it? Look at that. It's like merry old England or Europe. Right. We're running a bit low on fuel. Okay. Let's do firewood. And we need to do that. We need a woodcutter's lodge. Which I'm going to put next to. Let's do it here. So we can store it in the storehouse. Right. Logging camp gets you timber. Woodcutter's lodge gives you firewood. And I need to put. 
family in there. We've got two families left to do construction. So that's going to boost our firewood. Hold the middle mouse button to move the camera around. Oh, it's getting a bit stormy. Everyone's glad they're indoors now. Right, sawmill will do planks. In fact, let's do it there. It's easier. I've cut the trees down then. So as you can see, we're clearing space out there. If you want to grow more trees, you put a forestry hut down. How many logs have I got? How much timber? Right click. Oh, 29. That's quite good. We're doing well. I'm going to put that there and you can start planting trees again. Right. We've had resources stolen by bandits. You can find the bandits as they're marked with tents on the map. You can send your armies after them to fight them. We'll do that later. Right, finish the huts. In fact, let's slow down time because we're going a bit ahead of ourselves. Herb speed up recovery. General storage. It's just telling us that excess goods, probably timber, be moved to there. Right, it's looking good. So we've done all of that, finished all these, stone cutter, mining pit, uh, we don't need those quite yet, storage, granary we've done, storehouse we've done, uh, pack station we don't need yet, to connection, send and receive goods from other regions. Uh, hitching posts, fine. Houses. Have they done the well? Yes, I have. Right, marketplace. Right. If you mouse over and click your house, it will tell you what your village needs next. So we need a church. Let's put a church. Side there. Not enough goods. We need planks. So we need to go to the saw pit. Add a family. And they'll start making planks for us. We've got none at the moment. We need 20. Let's speed up a bit. Family should be making their way to it. There we go, five. Let's look what else we can do while we wait. We also want market stalls. Let's have a market right in the middle. Or shall we have it there? Put a market stall there, and each one of those marks is where a stall can go. It'll end up looking like that. There we go, we've got 20. In fact, let me slow down time. Let's have a church... ...there. So everyone can visit it. Right. Speed that up. How many wood we got? 23. We've got some stalls set up. Let's check our villagers. Wait for a church. Need food supply and clothing supply.
Okay, I'm getting ready to build the church. Uh, oh, you know what I didn't do? Put somebody in the hunting camp. That's why we've got no meat. Right, we've got no families on construction yet. Right, we've got no one in the granary, good. Okay on logs, I'm gonna remove him for now. So he just goes into construction. So it's a bit stingy on the uh, villages we get. Keep people in food. Right, it wants our Burgage plots, two of them to level two. Okay. But we can't do it yet until we fulfill these orders. Well, these needs. Church is getting there. And visuals look really good, don't they? Almost done. Just going to put a fence up. And it's done, we've got a church. That should make them happy. All we need now is a clothing store. I think we need a tannery. Let's slow down time. Right, it's under industry. Tannery. Uh, let's build it next to the market. Yeah, it'll do. November. We're getting winter soon. We need enough food. Let's bring in meat in. The berries should keep us going. Right. Let's put the guy back in there, put the family in. Tells you I need an insane one. Be fine for now. Work area's empty. Okay, so we've run out of berries here. Let's take the family out of there. Needs a clothing store. Can't wait until that's finished. There we go. Right, I'll put a family in there. Tell me to unassign somebody. Because I need them for construction. Beat up a sec. Alright, my tannery is working away and I've started a stall. So I should have three there now. Which means I've completed the list of here. And now I can upgrade the Burbage to level two. So I have that one and that one. Two of those. I can get another point for this. Just gotta wait until we complete. Come on. Bread, freshly baked, and still warm from the oven. Timbers, okay. Planks are good. Fine. 
family has moved in. Oh, yes. Excellent. Upgrade into level two. Snow's coming in now. Let's get that roof on, or it's going to be a bit frosty for him. You've got to be sparingly with your families. get working we've got 12 months of fuel 30 months of food which is nice it's going well uh, dragging the timber down Cut as large resources are full. Okay, I'm going to build another storehouse. And because we've got plenty of timber, let's take a guy off that. better than that. We've upgraded the house. Now we've got to work on this one. Done one out of two. Plenty of space. Stone deposit. Right, mining stone. I might as well place this down. So I can arrange my village better. And we've got two points now. New mercenary companies available. I'm not too bothered about stone, but I'm just going to build it. A new family's moved in. All right. I'm getting good. Right, we need to upgrade the houses three more. And three. Okay, and we need 10 of them now. Well, we may as well build them down here. Let's extend the road. Or should I have them on this side? View went into this. Stone cut in. We get clay from there. Alright, I should think about doing crops. If I do a road down there to there. blocks uh, which wood we got now three star oh it's going slow that's why speed up time 
Right, if all the wood's gone, you can click on it, go advanced, and limit a work area. Let's have it to there. We'll start cutting down that wood. Right, stone camp's almost done. Let's have one family bringing in stone. Put that down to one. Gives me one construction. Or timber, I need six to do the houses I want. These are going to be upgraded as well. That's taking a lot of resources. Oh, requires not met. We need a tavern, church at level two, and two clothing stores. Right, all these houses have got back gardens. You can click on it and tell them to harvest different stuff. Uh, how much gold have we got? Do vegetables. I'll do the chicken coop. Bring in extra eggs. More food for us. Meat's a bit low, but berries are going very well. Remember, I stopped them picking berries because there was none left because it's winter. Got nine wild animals left. Hunting camp still going out, bringing in food. Upgrading all of those is taking a lot of resources. Right, we've got enough timber, they're being upgraded slowly. Let's build some more houses along here. And other houses there. Yeah, let's do it that way. Okay, that'll give us enough. When they're finished, we should get another upgrade point. Right, is it starting to get spring? Yes, it is. The snow's melting. Bandit camp sighted. I need to go out and fight these soon. Or we'll start stealing my stuff. No, slow down time. Let's look at fields. We need a town. Should we put it next to the church? So when the send, we can just go in. Might as well. Alright, fields. You'll need three fields. Let's see what we can... Barley's needs to be placed down here. Yeah, let's have that whole area as fields. Rye. Okay. Cause you, do, you can do crop rotations, that's why I want to do three of them. Read message. Bandit raiders roaming nearby lands. Track their movements. Prepare for an attack. 365 days. Okay, track their movements. Alright, we need to get ready for them. Right, let's get some fields up, shall we? 
Uh, I'll put some clay on top of there. Uh, I can put a windmill there. Okay, let's do fields. There's one. I need a farmhouse. It's a bit black. Huge field. So let's have it a bit longer. And three. Alright, that's gonna be my main three fields. I'm gonna put in crop crop rotation. So it can be first year, second year, and third year. Put them on crop rotation. Food. Barley bin needs to be down there. Oh, got another family. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess. And flax is linen. Let's do second year wheat as well. So we're doing food first year wheat, hopefully. Let's see if I can unlock it. Fertilization, bakeries. Alright, I'm gonna unlock orchards and rye. For now, it's all my points done. Alright, we need a windmill and a farmhouse. Uh, the granary's over there, but we're going to have loads of fields. Let's have it. Put a road across there. Put a windmill in. Where's a farmhouse? There it is. And put a farmhouse there in the not very good crop area. Like so. Speed that up. I think I should do some more fields. Oven. Construction finished. Pastures I'm going to not do yet. I'm going to do barley. Alright, we've got a main road there. Let me connect these roads up. Bit hard to see. Oh, I've increased settlement again. Right, let's join that up. Let's join that up to the main road. Right, they're cutting trees down there like I told them to. We've got two spare families. Speed that up because we need these built. It's springtime. We need to raise a housing level. Get them to cut those trees up in there. Let's sleep. Right. Barley. Let's 
do... Okay, let's do from there. That'll be big enough. And that can be a barley field. Have another. We'll do the three year rotation again. Third year. That rotation, yep. I hope that former will be able to do all that. He might be a bit busy. George is full again. Move a guy into there. So can move stuff around. Forestry hut. Mm, I kind of should put a guy in that. How many logs we got? Timber eight. Okay. Still need them. All right. Let's see what upgraded. Tavern supplies. Barley. Another ruler's army is sighted. Uh oh. Is he coming for me? He's coming for a scrap. Keep an eye on him. Oh, he's moving over a bit, isn't he? Looks like he's coming for me. We're just going for this part of land. Has he declared war on anything? Right, I've not done fighting before. So this is a bit new. Need to hire some mercenaries. Let's see where he goes. I think he might be taking out the bandits. I think he is. He might be trying to help me. Oh, he's coming in for a pincer movement. Yeah, windmill's getting built. Let's carry on and ignore him. Go on. Get him. Let's slow that, that down so I can shave the soldiers. It's like total war, isn't it? We're base building. Not going to plant crops until the farmhouse is done. Should have put that as a main priority, but it's done now. him out and I think he yeah yeah that's good we should stop stealing from me now all right I've got two families Let's slow that down right, which one's a clay under that bit we out won't it Right, you have to place the mine on the clay node. Let's do it there. And I can build a little road up to it, like that. Mm. 
Oh, cool. Okay. This is as furthest I've got. Start time again. Right, let's get a trees advanced and cut them down from here. Growing. What else do I need? Uh, I need to get two more to level two and then three to level three. Okay, there's a two. What do I need? A food store. Two types of food. Has the berries come back? Yes, it has. Let's add a family there. I've got two more spare. Go. Families members joined the settlement. Excellent. I think they need to set up the stall in the merchant. In the market, yeah. We're getting more stalls. Food supply store. Okay, we'll need farm, won't we? That's almost done. I'll keep an eye on that for when I get attacked. Come on, peeps, get my farm done. Let's put one family in. Wheat, flax for clothes, wheat, in fact that should be on the second year shouldn't it? And take that one off. First year, second year, third year. Got a lot of planting to do. Well, I'm always impressed by the graphics. Got puddles. Oh, I've got nine families now. And supply. I need ale. Right, malt house. It's going to take me a while to do that though. I'll put that face in that direction. I need to put somebody in there, but I've only got one person. Well, one family. Oh, I think I made the fields a bit big. <laughs> Need weaver to make linen. Uh, let's have him that side. In fact, let's have him. Yeah, let's have it there. Right, let's build a trading post. I need to do it along. One of the king's roads. Let's do it here. No, there. I can sell supplies and call extra ones in I need. are going to come from. Uh, 
they can hire merchants when I fight them. I need to get some coin though. So I need to get that trading post up and start selling stuff. Alright, let's make some items to sell. Uh, I need four wood to make bows. Okay. What else can I do? I don't want to use money. Shields. I'll do that. Bows and shields. Any others? Produces ale. Ooh, I could do that. Costs money though. And that costs money. Okay, that will do for now. Artisans can produce multiple types of stuff. That field's nearly planted. Got the ox going. And done a trading post. Right, let's have a look. I've got 19 war bows. Put a person in there. Military. War bows. Export price. Establish route. Oh, it's going to cost me 30 gold. Yeah, it did. And you want to select export. Almost forgot. Right, surplus, how many you'd want to leave there. So, I'm going to keep 10 and sell the rest. Have I got enough to open another 16? No, I've not. Okay, I'm going to wait for the money to come in. I need to create three level three houses. Need tavern supply. I need to get a church up to stone. Three food supply huts. And two clothing. That's going to be a bit tricker. Oh, I saved it, went for some to eat. Came back and the countdown's gone. Is he still going to attack me? Right. Oh, my money's gone up a bit. Sixteen war bows to sell. Oh, there's a fight going on. Enemies declared. Uh oh. Raided and have a fight. Uh oh, he's coming up here. I'm surrounded. Let's see what he does. I've got a bit of money. Not good enough to make a full outfit of spears. So let's hire militia. What's oh, a bit pricer? Regional wealth. Uh oh. I forgot to build something. 
the manor house and collect taxes because my treasure is empty and I need that to buy mercenaries not that one right let's build a manor house because I'm desperate for taxes Right, there's a road there. Let's build it here next to water. A castle planner. Out of walls, gates. Cool. Right, let's get that built quick. There's an army there. I don't like the look of it. I'm severely outnumbered here. I've got to go there. Or I'll lose. I think I'll be losing that. Let's not fight it. Start collecting taxes before I go into battle. I need to buy some mercenaries to save my city. Otherwise, it's going to go very badly. That's a lot of resources for a manor house it needs. Snow's coming. It's going to ruin the crops. I'm going to have to force it to gather early. Yeah, my manor house has finally been built. Six days before the battle ends. Right, now I can charge taxes. do. Let's go 5%. 20% tax is a bit steep. Fuel reserves, let's do 10. There's my little manor house. At a gate to my city. Oh, little village. Three days left. I don't think I'll have enough treasure. Peace declared. Uh oh. It's walking towards me now. Right, let's get a mine built. Put a road down to there. We got eight days before we get raided. I've got some money for taxes, which is good. I can hire some mercenaries. Let's see if we can get enough to hire all of them. Because I might need them. Four days. It's a bit tricky at this stage, I've not played the game long enough. 
two days. In fact, let's call them now. Let's go. Sign contract. Arrows. Brigands. Let's go for that. Oh, I can go all of it. Nice. Let's put them on control one. Get them to come to me. Have different controls. This is my first ever battle. Is my guys moving in from the top and bottom? Let's make sure they're coming. It's hard to see on the white snow, but we are moving. Enemy spotted. Right, where are you? Where are you coming from? There we are. Mine should get to me before they get to me. Let's speed up things. Coming for me, a little gets. My guys are converging over there as well. One of the barons took this land. He moved his troops down. Let's move my guys there. Two versus two. Group up. Is that the right direction? They're coming. It's my fellas, I'm excited. It's my first ever battle. Do you spread out or not? No, I can stay back. I'll get him to wait until he charges them and hit him from the side. Outflank him. Charge! Right, outflank him, guys. Oh, crap. They're engaged, them. 18 versus 18. Okay, these guys better come in and out quick. I don't think I can call those because it's not full units. Oh, I'm losing a few. Come on, fellas. Can I hold shift and do multiple clicks? No. Right, I might lose a few. Oh, he looks like they're better armed than me. Go get him, lads. Attack him from the rear. Right, let's, let's have a normal speed. Oh, look at that. I should turn the tide now. I've got him in a spit roast formation. Did they completely run off? Cowards. Send him after that. Oh, 
Oh, he didn't like my overwhelming force. Alright, let's get him to join up. Any raiding camps? I think the Baron fought them. Let's go raiding. My units. Let's have a look down here. There was a raiding camp there. Unfortunately, he's killed it. I'm stop messing about. Oh, I think I've run out of money. Ooh, that was pricer. Well, at least I showed you a fight. Even though it was a little one. I like it. It's going to take some while to get used to. I can tavern supplies. So I can do a brewery on that one. Church level two. I need to work out what you did on there. That's my first proper go of Manor Lords. I really liked it. It started to get harder around level three houses, so it might take a while to master it. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe if you've not already, click the bell notifications to get notified when I upload and stream next. Let me know what you think in the comments below, share the link with your friends, and don't forget to check out the videos at the end. Goodbye, and thanks for watching.